Hey everyone and welcome back for week 19 of building Eric Kid and Lego. So as you can tell by the title, this will be the last update video before the finale, which will be after Brick Rodeo and that convention is actually next weekend and so that's why this update video is the last one until the finale. I didn't plan week 20 to be the finale, but it just happened to be that way because I've been so busy this week and I wasn't sure if this week or next week would have been the finale. But it just happened to be that way and it kind of rounds out the series pretty well. So in this week's update, it does feel a little bit rushed. That is because I didn't, again, know this would be the last update before the finale. So I work a lot more on the armory as well as start the border and finish the landscaping. Again, getting down to all the final touches. It is unfortunate that I was unable to finish the armory in this week's update. That would have been really nice, but that'll make the finale even more special. I have some important announcements at the end of this update, so definitely stay tuned till the very end. So without any further delay, let's jump right into the last update, the building Eric kit in Lego. As you can see, I finished all the coral landscaping that will go around this entire mock. And I'm super happy with the way this base plate looks with just coral. And so I just like seeing a lot of coral and a lot of openness. I feel like this will be the perfect spot for a battle. And overall, I'm really happy with the way I was able to mix a lot of the plates or a lot of the tiles and studs. And I think it looks really nice. And you can kind of see variation in coral color. Uh, like some look more like orange than coral. I kind of like that. It's probably because it's a bit dirty or the color faded while it was sitting on the picker brick wall. So I kind of like that effect and it makes it uh, more natural, I guess you can say, with the landscaping. I will add like reddish brown rock work, just sporadic rocks that'll go around these base plates. But that's something I can do uh, towards the end of this mock series when I'm done placing all the figures and stuff But I just wanted to show you guys what this base plate looks like with all the coral and I think it looks awesome I have to move all this out of the way. I'm sorry. There's a huge mess there I'll clean it up by the end of this uh, episode so y'all can see just the plain coral landscaping on this base plate so I know I mentioned in a few updates ago that instead of making the mock look like it was cut out from the actual planet on the edge of this mock to have a black border and i think i'm going to go with a black border around this entire mock that's because i'm running really low on some coral pieces mainly cheese slopes and one by two plates which are essential to make the border and so because of that i think a black border would look nice as well as i'm going to have some coral overhang especially on this base plate over here where there's no walls on the edges. So I'm going to have like some coral dipping over the black border. I've seen that effect in other mocks and I think that'll look really cool as well. And I'll also have some reddish brown rock work, but I won't do that till the very end of this series because it's just sporadic. I can place it around the entire mock. And I'll have some overhang as well on this area over here. But overall, I'm really happy with the way the coral landscaping looks like. I think I'm going to hold off on the black border for now and continue to work on the armory. Hopefully I can finish that soon. I, won't, I don't think I'll be able to finish it in this update, but hopefully by next update I'll have it done. I really don't have that much left to do besides the ceiling and a few more studs upwards. So, and also the door obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and make more progress on the armory. So as you can see, I worked a lot more on the armory. I didn't get around to cleaning this base plate yet, but I'll definitely do that before the end of this video. But I just really wanted to get a lot of progress on this armory in this week's update because again, next weekend is Brick Rodeo. And even though the finale won't be till after Brick Rodeo, I really need to get this done before uh, the middle of next week. 
but I'm very happy with the progress I was able to make on it so far. I really like the ceiling area and I have like those Technic plates because lights again will go on the ceiling as well as this front arch section when I start building that. But overall, I'm very happy with it. I build upwards as I go, so it may seem slow and I really like time lapsing and I think this is the first building in this mock where I just straight up just time lapsed the entire build progress so this is actually very cool to see i wish i can do that with the other buildings but those were a bit more complicated because this besides the turret this was the mainly the only building where everything was on studio i had to like rework that as i kept building but this i built this very well digitally so props to me for building on studio pretty well but anyway i still gotta do this panel that'll go here connected to these these white hinge bricks as well as on the other side as well but overall i'm very happy with it i really like how the back looks with those tube structures there is no reference pictures for the back so i kind of had to improvise but i like this effect it'll make more sense as i finish off the roof section but i just wanted to show you guys the progress i made in those few time lapses that y'all saw i will also start working on this gray section over here I might save that till the very end because I want to get that door in before I cover this with tile. So overall, I'm very happy with the progress I made so far in this segment. I'm going to build more in this video, so don't worry, but I just wanted to take a break from it because I am quite sweaty. It's not an easy feat building this building because it actually is quite tall and big. I don't think this camera does it justice. So before I actually clean this area off, I think I'm going to save doing this till the end of this video. I'm going to take a break from the armory and work on the black border that will go around this entire mock. I know I mentioned that in a lot of other updates recently, but I think it's about time that I actually start doing that because, again, next week is the convention. So I'm trying to get the last finishing touches on this mock, so I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do about that black border. So as you can see, I cleared off this base plate over here so you can just see the bare coral landscaping across the entire mock and I just love the way it looks so far. I'm very proud of what I was able to accomplish with the landscape. I know it's not much but it was very tedious and trying to get some dips and some uneven surfaces here and there was quite a bit tricky but I am very happy with how it turned out and I didn't take everything off. I added the crates back in because I'm going to use those towards the armory later on but I did get some progress done on the black border that'll go around this entire mock. I haven't started the coral dipping yet on this side because I do want to show you guys kind of like the two borders, I guess you can say. One of them, they're both black, but this one on this side is a plate or a tile higher than this side. So this side right here is flush with the coral landscaping. And this one, as you can see, there's it's a tile taller. So I'm still trying to decide which one I like better. I think I'm leaning towards the one that's just a tile uh, higher instead of the border that's flush with the coral landscaping. I know making it flush would be easier for me to have like that coral dipping over the black edge, but I like the effect of it just being slightly uh, taller than the mock itself. So I think I'm gonna go towards this one. And as you can see, I kind of already started going all the way down only on this side i ran out of some plates to go around the other side you probably can't see it but i do need to poach some of my black tiles plates and bricks from my previous bus mock because that's how i was able to do this uh, black border concept so taking a step back i'm just overall really happy with the curl landscaping I tried to make it random and have some dips here and there and it was quite tricky but overall I think I got the effect and I think I did a great job because in the game the landscape of the base is pretty flat except for like the reddish brown rock work which I'll do closer to the end of this mock series and I'll probably even start that towards the end of this episode but I'm not too sure about that. But taking one more step back and looking at the black border, I really do like the side that it's just one plate higher than the other side instead of it being flush with the coral landscape. And so I'm just imagining, you know, this side just with the black border and I think it's gonna look really awesome, especially with the coral overhang that I plan to have on this side. Hopefully I can achieve that effect and I think I will for the most part. So I think I'm going to poach more parts from the bus mock 
to finish the black border, hopefully fingers crossed, and then also to continue working on the armory. And sorry guys if I sound out of breath, I've been running back and forth trying to find black pieces and stuff for this mock because Brick Rodeo is only a week away. I'm just trying to get a lot of stuff done before the convention, but I am trying to get these video clips out as soon as I can. So I was finally able to work on this arch that goes on top of the door in this front section of the armory and I'm really happy with the way it looks. As you can see, it's not connected all the way. That is because I'm gonna take it off for when I need to put that door right there and then I'll have it on definitely. But I just wanted to put it on top of this front section to show you guys the mostly complete armory and I'm super happy with the way it looks. I'm kind of disappointed I was unable to finish the armory in this update but that'll make the finale even more special. And because of that there won't be a lights out portion. That is because I didn't add any new lights. All the new lights are on the roof and I haven't even finished the roof yet. So there's going to be three lights that'll go here in these like medium blue tube sections. And then right there, and that's why you can kind of see that dark bluish gray Technic tile with the holes. It'll go underneath here and it'll have like a, a translucent red circle of light. So I'm very excited to show that off in the finale. But this is really all the progress I was able to make in this week's update. Again, I'm really happy I was able to finish the coral landscaping. And I'm so happy I don't have to do coral landscaping ever again. Well, unless I expand this mock or decide to make a smaller air kit mock, but I'm happy I finished it for this mock specifically. And actually you can see, I actually have quite a bit of coral left over. So maybe I'll do another coral mock, we'll see. But again, I'm really happy with the way this landscaping looks with the variation in coral because it was sitting in the pad wall for such a long time. As well as I'm kind of sad that I was unable to finish the black border for this update but again that will even make the finale even more special and I've decided to use the border that is a tile higher that is not flush with the coral so I'm gonna have to elevate this by one plate that will go around and I kind of started doing that on the other side but I do still need to poach some parts from my bus mock I'm unable to do that at the moment so when I have time or when I'm able to I definitely will to finish out the black border but let me show you guys an overhead view of what the mock looks like this is actually going to be the final view of the mock before the finale so just let that sink in and just imagine just some sporadic reddish brown rock work some imperial troops marching around and then like a mini rebel battle right over there and then the complete armory and then imagine it with all the lights on that is what that is what this mock is going to look like and i just cannot wait for the finale. So I know the finale won't come out till a few weeks after Brick Rodeo. That is because I want to make it the best it can be because it is the end of this mock series and I want to make it really special. So I'm really happy with what I was able to do in this update. It may not seem like a lot, but a lot of time and effort went into this armory and also this coral landscaping right over here. So I'm going to give you one last view of the mock. So this is going to conclude week 19. Let's go to the closing. So this is going to conclude the last update of building air kit and Lego. Definitely let me know down in the comments below what you think of my mock so far in preparation for the finale video. I'm really happy with the progress I was able to make this week. I know it may have felt rushed. That's because I didn't know that that this would be the last update video. I'm super happy with the way the armory looks as well as the black border and getting to see the coral landscape complete is so awesome and I'm so happy I no longer have to work on coral landscaping because even though I liked it, it was quite annoying placing down uh, different parts to make it more random and not as uniform. That was definitely a challenge and hopefully I accomplished that. So as I said, the last update or the next video after this will be the finale. So what that means is all the final touches will be done, the armor will be done and all the lights as well, the border, the rock work and the figure placement. I'm really excited to start the figure placement real soon. And so I'm actually gonna take this mock to Brick Rodeo, which is next weekend. And so that's why the finale won't be till after the convention. I do wanna make some videos about transporting air kit to Austin, which is where the convention will be this year, instead of five minutes away from my house, which was last year, but that's besides the point. 
So I am gonna make more videos about Air Kit before the finale and I really do wanna take my time with the finale because I wanna make it the best it can be and hopefully surpass my bus mock. I might have a small Air Kit update video next week before the convention just to keep you guys updated on what's going on with Air Kit because I know next week will be quite a busy week for me. But if not, then expect the next video for Air Kit to be the finale. And I'll definitely make a video about transporting my air kit mock to Brick Rodeo. I almost said my bus mock, but I didn't. Definitely let me know down in the comments if any of you guys are going to attend Brick Rodeo. If you are, definitely stop by the star section and say hello and check out air kit. I can't wait to see a bunch of you guys there. So enough of me rambling, I know I've been talking a lot, I just really wanted to get all this information out there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like what I do, go ahead and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you won't miss out on any future videos, and I'll see y'all in the finale.